Hi everyone, I am Priti Bhai. Welcome you all to this video. So today I like to share another GeoGebra tutorial to teach or to show some teaching ads in teaching angles in class 6 and 7 or maybe higher than that. So first I am going to a new GeoGebra file I have already downloaded and installed in my computer. It is in desktop. So you can see the icon. I'm clicking to open it. It is open. As I have already discussed, I will hide this graphics mode because I want to show geometry. So I'll right click on it, left click on axis, right click, left click on grids. Next. I am writing what I am going to show. So text is your measure of angles. Measure of angles or type of angles. I, types of angles. Okay, so I want to make it bigger, so objective properties, or you can change the desktop also uh, in the default view also. I'm going for text. Next is mid, medium size, then bold, then I'm coloring it. With a, by this you can make the mass colorful. Then your crossing it next i'm making an angle so before that as i told i am using the slider here what is the slider slider is just a variable you can change the angles so you will see just this is the you know, toolbar different points lines i'm going for this the angle then your reflexive that here it takes a in this it is menus are given slider slider is a very useful tool so i am clicking on a slider so here there are as i told you there are three types of slider number angle and integer so next i am taking for angle whenever you will click on angle it will show a alpha by default because angle we know that we denote is alpha, beta, gamma. So I click on it. You can find the Greek letters. You can take any. I'm taking alpha here. So this is my um, slider. I change it. Next is I'm coming to what is the minimum value? What is the maximum value? What will be increment? So zero degree, 360 degree. And one that means I'll go from zero to 360 by increment one, it will increase one, 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 one every time. So, next I'll click on OK. So, this slider is formed here. This is 45 degrees. So, gradually, if you move it, it will increase, it will increase from zero to 360 degree. So, next I'll go for making an angle. So I'll go for a straight line, a segment, name it. I want to hide the name of the straight line. So click on slow, show label. I'm naming it as BC. So rename as capital B. And this D I'm renaming as C. We can keep the name. CD no problem but I'm changing it and then I'm going for changing the font to be my 16. I'll make it bigger so that it will be prominent. Next part I want an angle but the angle should be a variable. So I take the amount of angle as alpha not your 30 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree. What is the use? If we'll change this slider, it will change the angle here. So angle will be increasing or it will be decreasing. So to 
frame the angle i'll go for angle menu so click here i am going for angle with given size second one left click then one arm is c b so click c on c click on b then it is showing will you make 45 degree no i'll make an angle which is equal to alpha because i'll change it so i'll click on alpha then counter clockwise that means anti clockwise so i'll go the angle from right side then click on okay see this is this is not angle it has not made it i will make it how to make it i will join this c dash with a this will be the angle so i want to change the name as c dash as b so i'll click on this left click rename this is b or oh, sorry this will be a so it is a now i'll join a and c to frame the angle so i'll go for segment click on a click on b i don't want the name of of the segment so click on show level then i don't want the name as i don't want name by mistake there is a extra point so i'll delete it and i want to so only the value so what i do go objective properties then basic click on basic right here only the value so it will show 50 degree or whatever it may be so next i'll clicking on move move means this is the select tool because i want this b to be return outside the angle and this 50 degree here and this angle i want to make some color and some prominent one so what i'll do i'm writing this red color and i am now see i want to a big thing so i'll go for style i can take this style i can line thickness is greater so it will be better to show the angle then here so many things are available you can uh, change it you can see it uh, you can explore it you can change the things you see the size will be big size will be small so this is a bigger size the angle is shown so now it is looks nice 50 degree after making this slider making the angle next i'll go for showing to the children of course i'll save it file save as you can save anywhere i am saving in desktop i'll save as angles save so next i'll hide the toolbar that means algebra toolbar so it is clear of course they will not give my photo you may give your photo next i am moving the slide slider see it is making the angle so when it is all the angles all the angles 90 degree it will be your right angle then again increase up to the angle 180 degree so now this is in a side so i want to move it to the middle so what to do i'll move the graphic view move graphic view so then i'll move it a to the middle so that you change the angle 79 80 81 then your reflex angle then your 360 angle so i hope it will be very interesting to the children without drawing so many times you can show by changing the sliders only next interesting things as i told earlier you can also animate it 
So how to animate? Click on the slider, right click, then animation on, it will animate. It will animate. Okay. So before animation, just check whether so how to stop animation? Click here. On the left side, you will get pause. Click on this. So one thing I want to make you clear that right click on this object properties. Go for the slider. You see whether you want here there are many options. Increasing only increasing or decreasing or increasing once or it will be oscillating means changing this and only thing is click that it should not be random. It random should not be checked, otherwise it will be haphazardly change. So your purpose will not be fulfilled. So you can see how to um, how it is changing. First you increase it, then again right click on animation on. You'll see that only it will increase. Only it will increase. You can increase only once. You can. Oscillate also, that means it will increase, again decrease. You can click on the things. So I'm crossing this, you will save this and you can show to the your children. Similarly, next time I'll show you how to write when it is showing 90 degree, how the angle will come, that is its right angle. When 180 degree, it will come a straight angle. So I am stopping how I am clicking on pause that means no animation you can do it manually manually you can change it so uh, according to my experience my long experience i know that this is a very good teaching aid for the children if you feel like you can show it to the children and especially when we are teaching online we don't have anything to show the children this is a very good teaching aid and you also can share with your students they, at home they can also see it thank you can uh, you can share with your friends and if you cannot make yourself just comment i'll provide the link where my apps are available so you will um, free of cost uh, you can use it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.